four books. First of all, I have two puzzle books here. So this one is dot to dot. And I have done a few pages. Here you can see I did this kind of fairy. And I've done this wolf. And these moths. The moths one is really quite cool. And I've done a tree as well. A tree is really cool. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. And I've done this tree. Now, I haven't coloured any of them in, but you totally could. They do suggest that on the front. Um, it only takes me a few minutes to do one of these dot to dots, but that's perfect for me. Gives me something to do with a few minutes of time. Next thing I have is picture puzzles for mindfulness. Now, this is a pretty odd and random puzzle book. But that's why I liked it, it was random. So you can see here you were to find the ones that were identical. That's a jigsaw puzzle where you figure out where the pieces go. Um, which string connects to the end. There's a little maze there and object finding one then some dots you can shade to find a picture and these ones are quite interesting you just try and find whichever ones are matching the, these are fun so there's a picture here and you spend your time looking for these objects and circling the wire the end to tell you if it's there or not. And these ones are quite interesting. It's a memory puzzle. So you look at this page and you try to remember everything that's there. And then when you swap to the page after that, you try and figure out which one is missing, which is quite fun. In this case, it happens to be the um, life preserver. And then you have these, so you have pictures. And then over here you have little things that it says like I am wearing headwear or my eyes are closed. And then you look over here and you try and figure out which one of these matches you. Want. So that's quite a fun puzzle book. And then lastly I got this book. Uh, I don't know if you'll know him. You may probably will from um, Top Gear and the Grand Tour. I used to watch Top Gear and the Grand Tour lots. Like, the Grand Tour is newer, but you know, Top Gear was on the TV all the time. But I have seen some of the Grand Tour, and um, he did a kind of series on his farm, which I haven't really seen. I've seen snippets of it. But I saw this book and absolutely had to have it, and as you can see, I have started reading it. It is really good, really funny as well. I'm trying to figure out all sorts of stuff on his farm. And there is the odd picture in here, which I think is a nice added touch. That's a really nice book if you're into that kind of reading. Now, what I've got left is. And what I've got left is just some craft supplies. So I will start with yarn. First up we have this, which is from Home Bargains. And I got it because it's different shades of sort of brown. 
and those types of colours are sometimes useful for different things, depending on what you're doing. But if you're doing something that looks kind of nature-y or you want some browns for maybe a dog or something, it's great for that. I think it would make a nice hair colour too if you were making a doll. I also got a ball of Petrol Sparkle White Yarn, also from Old Bargains. And I have two of these, which I've shown this colour of yarn on my channel before. It's Colour Blend Yarn, and it's shade S002. Um, it's 100% acrylic. To be honest, the other two were 100% acrylic as well. Um, yes, this doesn't have a colour name, but it is kind of earth tones. So it's got browns and reds and yellows and all sorts like that. See? That's what it looks like. I absolutely love that colourway. I made a hat with it last year, if I remember correctly. I got two, they're from Pan Stretchers, and then the last thing is Anti-Peeling DK Signet Pure Baby. And this is actually from Charity Shop, it's really soft, the shade is Rose, it's 100% acrylic and 100 grams, it's just a very nice colour. Um, we have one of these again. I do apologise. Crinkle, crinkle. Right, so I have gotten some of these before, quite recently. This one has a few different patterns in it, as they always do, so I will be able to show them. So first we have Flare jacket with collar. So that one's quite simple but quite nice. Then we have a letter cushion that says love. Which is quite neat. And um, beaded skirt edge. This was actually why I picked it up. I like the edge. I wouldn't necessarily be putting it on a skirt, but I just thought it looked quite neat. And there's a little bit of information on colour work. Just how to do different shades in, in a picture format. And we have a stitch called the Balcony Stitch, which looks pretty cool. There is there. Always has a stitch in there. So that's the little pattern booklet. And it came with this colour. It's kind of a dark teal. And then the last two things I have today are for card making. So the first one is... Paper's, Paper's Christmas Party is here. Let's see if I can see it out. And I got these from a charity shop. I just thought they looked really nice. So this kind of shows the different things in it. You can see they're just see a card with images and patterns and I just really like them. I make Christmas cards pretty often at Christmas so it's totally something I will use and this one weighs one pound. The next one is Be Merry and Classic this is a bigger, much bigger set. 
I liked it because it was black and white. So it does, it'll go with basically anything. And we have some stripes. Some kind of plant looking things. Got some Christmas baubles. Some swirlies. Stars. Merry Christmas. And some holly. Or Merry Christmas. And some funky patterns. Funky lines. Christmas trees. A big star. And some little stars. So there's plenty of patterns in that and they'll make really good backgrounds because I can mix and match them with the other set that I got along with like previous things I've already gotten and make some cards. So that's everything I have gotten recently. And lastly, I have been working on the jumper. So here's how this side's going. It's got quite a bit of pattern there now. And the other side, I have finished the bottom section. So it's ready for the pattern. I've done that and that's everything for today. So... What I shall say now is, remember if you were listening earlier to my question to pop in what sort of holiday you might be doing, have done or getting ready to go on this year and um, comment, like, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications every time I put up a video.